So today we'll be discussing the history of drones and quadcopters. Drones and quadcopters have revolutionized flight. They help humans to take to the air in new, profound ways. Today's drones and quadcopters come with mind-blowing capabilities, flight being the least of these. These nifty devices capture dazzling aerial images and enable augmented reality game playing as well. They can go to places humans cannot, enabling them to do much more than thought possible. How these devices developed over the decades is quite fascinating. Their aerodynamic features and uses definitely pique curiosity. So you might ask yourself, what is a drone or quadcopter? Well, drones belong to a class of aerial vehicles known as unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs. These vehicles can take to the air without pilots. Essentially, this makes drones flying robots. Encompassing both planes and quadcopters, they have software controlled flight plans integrated into their systems. These systems work with global positioning technology, GPS, to guide and track their movements. The quadcopter is a newer UAV. As its name suggests, this rotocraft, lifted by spinning rotor blades, depends on four quick turning rotors to give it thrust. Two spin clockwise and the other two counterclockwise. Two sets of identical fixed pitch propellers help the process. Pilots achieve control of the craft by using remote control transmitters to change the speed of its rotor discs. So let's go further into the history of UAVs. Drones and quadcopters have a rich history. With the help of advanced computer technology and engineering, they have developed in stunning ways. So you may ask yourself, why were UAVs constructed? Well, military in different countries first used drones for war. The Austrian military first developed these devices for combat purposes. In 1849, the Austrians first attacked Venice and Italy with unmanned air balloons filled with explosives. Some of these worked while the wind blew others back into Austrian territory. Though not as technologically sound as today's UAVs, they showed potential. Planes with no pilots appeared after World War I. The Hewitt Sperry automated airplane, developed by Elmer Sperry of the Sperry Gyroscope Company, was the early version of today's aerial torpedo. The American military soon turned standard E-1 planes into drones. One of them, the Larynx, was a little monoplane that could fly on autopilot after being launched from a warship. Other automated aircraft developed by the US and British military soon followed. The first mass-produced airplane was the brainchild of Reginald Denny. A successful Hollywood actor, he pursued his interest in remote-controlled drones and formed Reginald Denny Industries. The company produced the radio plane, which he enhanced for the American military in World War II. The US military experimented with these remote controlled drones and built a variety of aerial torpedoes. They used these aircraft as target drones during the Cold War. These drones were capable of collecting radioactive data as well. Now let's talk a bit about the first quadcopters. Quadcopters were among the first vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or VTOLs. Earlier helicopters used tail rotors to counterbalance the torque or rotating force, generally by a single main rotor. This was wasteful and inefficient. Engineers developed quadcopters to solve the problems that helicopter pilots had with making vertical flights. The first was the Oemichen II, invented in 1922 by Etienne Oemichen. In 1924, he accomplished a flight trail of one kilometer, or 026 miles, in a closed circuit at 40 kilometers per hour. After that, the Converter Wings Model A quadcopter, designed by Dr. George E. Bothizat, appeared in 1956. It was the first to use propulsion, or a propeller's forward thrust, to control an aircraft's roll, pitch, and yaw. The Curtis Wright VZ 7, also known as the VZ 7AP, developed by the Kurt Wright Company, followed in 1958. It was designed to be a flying jeep. 
Now, technology has advanced quadcopters dramatically. In the past decade, companies like DJI Innovations, Altel Robotics, Parrot, Walkera, Blade, Helimax, and various others have launched many quadcopters that use state-of-the-art computer technology for flight control, aerial photography, and aerial videography. So what are quadcopters best features? Well, remote control quadcopters have qualities that make them quite popular among enthusiasts. Quadcopters have the qualities of different helicopters. Helicopters are either pitched or coaxial. While pitched ones are agile and wind resistant, coaxial ones, which depend on two layers of rotors, are more stable. Quadcopters are a comfortable blend of both. Three axis gyro technology enhances their stability. Agile yet steady, they are ideal vehicles for aerial photography. They carry aerial cameras and gimbals to make this possible. And let's talk a bit about remote control. Pilots can control quadcopters with a joystick on a remote control transmitter. A receiver on the quadcopter processes the pilot's instructions. The pilot's signals combine with output from the quadcopter's altitude sensors. The flight controller then signals the electronic speed controller, or ESCs, which in turn move the quadcopter's motors. A quadcopter uses different aerodynamics from an airplane for flight. Newton's law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The four rotors, two moving clockwise and the other two counterclockwise, negate any force or torque on the fuselage. They stabilize movement and function. A quadcopter's simple design wins over many pilots. They do not come with long shafts, unlike helicopters. These are difficult to align. In conclusion, Drones and quadcopters with extensive history and capabilities are the devices of the future. In times to come, humans will find it difficult to imagine life without them. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please add a like below. Also, you can subscribe to the channel and be notified on future videos just like this one.